to right now. So uh, this is Neptunia Riders. This is what the American name of it is. I think it was Neptunia versus uh, Dogu, uh, giant Dogu or something in Japan. For America, it's going to be called Neptunia Riders versus Dogus. Um, I actually got an email yesterday before Gamatsu even posted about this. They probably did too. They've been posting a lot of new things. Um, it's getting a release. It ha finally has a release date. So let me see the official one from the email. It doesn't really say. It just says January. Okay, so it's the same as this. So Neptunia Riders versus Dogus launches on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Nintendo and Nintendo Switch, no PC release date yet. You know those come like usually about six months after. Um, six months to a year after, we'll see. And there's also a deluxe edition that was revealed. It's going to be coming out January 2025. So actually very soon. The game is about four hours long from what I've heard. So it's not a very long game and it's going to be 40 bucks. In Japan, it was 20 in Japan, it was $20 if you converted it to USD. And in America, it's going to be $40 for a four-hour game. Um, we are, it says, we are excited to announce the motorcycle combat action game Neptunia Riders vs. Dogus will arrive physically and digitally for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, also on the Nintendo Switch in January 2025. So like I said, when this comes out, we'll be able to finish it in one playthrough. Uh, Neptunia Riders vs. Dogus <laughs> is playable in European French and European uh, Spanish for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Nintendo Switch. So that's a new, I guess. That's a new update. You can play it in European Spanish and French. I guess Latin America, no. Okay, so like no, no one from the Central and South America. Languages are accessible through uh, console's language uh, options. Select European French and European Spanish um, for PlayStation 4 and PS5 versions. Select French and Spanish for uh, Nintendo Switch. So that's something new, I guess, they've added in their update. New languages. Fans can also grab the Deluxe Edition for the game upon launch. The Deluxe Edition comes with a digital game, digital art book with 35 pages, soundtrack, uh, 10 soundtracks, and costume set, uh, swimsuit, apocalyptic, and race queen. Um, costume sets have one costume set per... Uh, one costume per set for Uzume... No wire, blonde, and vert. Okay, so no Neptune um, costumes. That's interesting. So they each have a swimsuit, they each have a apocalyptic costume, and a race queen costume. So no Neptune costume DLC. The Neptunia Riders vs. Dogu's costume set will also be available as standalone DLC on launch. So you can buy it separately, even though um, you can get it with the Deluxe Edition. The PlayStation Store pages and eShop, uh, Nintendo eShop page will be updated, will be available at a later date. So apparently it's only available on their IFI online store, where you can wishlist the uh, Standard Edition and Special Edition today. And this still, here's the information if you forgot about it. Um, it is called Neptunia Riders vs. Dogus. Um, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Switch. January 2025, physical and digital. So it's not only digital, it's also getting a physical edition. Um, the publisher is Idea Factory International. And the genre is motorcycle combat action. It's only one player, which this game looks like it would be a, a co op game or a multiplayer, but it's not. Um. It has voiceovers in English and Japanese. The languages are English, French, Spanish. So this is European. So this is Spain. Not um, There are two different types of Spanish, I think. There might be more, but this one is uh, only this one from Europe. And it is ESRB E10+. Plus, so you can be 10 years old and plus on this. Uh, Peggy 12. And ACB is M. What does that mean? It's mature for... What is ACB? I'm going to... 
I'm going to copy that for you guys so that you can tell me what ACB is that Australia? I'm not sure. Australia something. <laughs> I don't know. And wrote in the comments here. I can show this to you if you want. I have the Gamatsu. Um, I have more information than the Gamatsu article. So that's why I just pulled up from my PR. Um, so basically it's a new update on the languages and release date. As a Neptunia fan, and after watching some gameplay, I found I find it boring and repetitive. Maybe when it's cheap, I'll give it a chance. Right, unlike all the other games, eh? I, I told you, some of these uh, Neptunia fans are toxic, or people that don't like Neptunia are very toxic. They don't want to release a trilogy remaster to the West, but they will release this, and in, a, in, in the box, publishers move in mysterious ways. So Rebirth got delayed indefinitely. I think what they're going to do though, I really what I hope they do is that they're going to release it on the PS4 and and you can play that backwards compatibility um backwards compatible with PlayStation 5. So I'm hoping they'll just not only release it on the Switch, release it um uh Rebirth 1, Rebirth 2, Rebirth 3 on PlayStation 4. I hope they do that. So they delayed the launch of the Switch version, which was supposed to come out in May, the same time as the new Game Makers game. So they delayed it. I'm hoping it'll. It's for the fact that they're gonna do a semi, um, simultaneous release on PlayStation as well. I hope so, because a lot of people were really mad about that. Uh, let me see if I can adjust my. Does that sound better, guys? Okay. There we go. And I'm going to show more. What do you guys say? It's the first Neptunia game that is an E plus, uh, E10 rating. So in Australia, it's M for mature. <laughs> That's weird. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget the thumbs up. Comment below and subscribe. If you want to see anything on the channel, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. See you next time.